Hello everyone, welcome to the second Mando Mondays. This one is going to be with Derby Boy, and it's going to be on episode two. So, uh, the passenger, so let's get into it. So I saw, so the first thing that I noticed in um, episode two was that they were reusing, or not reusing, but they were using the the Mandalorian rock theme with the electric guitar. Yeah. So, um, I don't know if that was fan-made or from Ludwig Garrison, but that was kind of cool to see them using the rock theme. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was honestly really cool. And then, one thing I wanted to point out is that, um, at the beginning of the episode, we got to see a little bit more of the connection between the child and uh, the Mandalorian. Because, um, it looks like, after, right, like right after they defeated the um, the dragon thing in episode one, the crate dragon. Yeah, the crate dragon. Uh, because Mando still had the vomit thing on his helmet, mm -hmm. and then I guess the, those people were trying to st uh, stop him. And then uh, we saw after uh, how they were trying to take the child, and then after they finished everything, the child came running back to Mando. So that was actually kind of cool. Yeah, because in, cause the child, well, he did trust, he trusted Mando in season one, but now he's, like, trusts him even more, and, like, he's kind of, like, Mando's kind of, like, a father now. Yeah. So, the second thing that I noticed, so I was, like, I was, I had, I was, like, trying to find, like, any sort of Easter eggs I could find, and... Mm -hmm. Back in season one, we saw IG Eleven, with, and like Mando, he uh he gained trust with droids, from yeah. from IG Eleven, and so in the cantina, in the very first shot of the cantina, when he meets up with Pelimoto, and she's playing with the bug dude, you yeah. can actually see IG unit heads in the on the bar. Which yes. was which was cool. It has it was like multiple IG eleven or IG unit heads, and yeah. So that was that was kind of cool to see like a season one flashback. But I don't know if Mando really like saw that. But it was cool for me to see because um, he he gained trust with IG eleven back in season one to see another um, small appearance of an IG unit in season two in the cantina. Yeah. Um, I have to ask, what was the creature, the creature he met who was, he tried to deliver, uh, the creature with the, with the eggs? Oh, I um, to, I, I, I actually, the name. I actually don't know the, um, I actually don't know the species name, but Mando, yeah. Mando calls, um, their language frog. Mm. So, they do kind of look like frogs. Yeah, and kind of talk like them, so... We kind of know. So in Star Wars, like, we see a lot of references to other species in for, of replacing real-life animals, like, yeah, a lot. on Earth. Yeah, like, like, a lot of times. Yeah, like, womp rats or, like, whatever. Uh, well, especially womp rats. And so that means that frogs are in the Star Wars galaxy. Yeah. So coming and back... Oh, yeah, go. So the um, they crash on an ice planet, mm -hmm. and I was wondering what the name is because I had a suspicion that it could have been a planet that I was thinking of. But I just want to clarify it, like confirm it. So do you like the name of the planet that they crashed crashed on? Okay, I don't think I don't think they announced the name. Uh, but it it was a uh abandoned planet, or not by the spider things though. So. Um, coming back to the cantina scene, um, well, Polymoto, she says that she's playing Dr. Mandible, the bug, the bug, she called Dr., the do the bug, Dr. Mandible, and I searched up who Dr. Mandible was, and had to do research, and I found that he, he actually made a small appearance in, uh, season one of The Mandalorian, in, uh, chapter five, The Gunslinger, when he yeah. helps out the rookie, so... Oh yeah, yeah. So we actually saw um another reuse of characters in uh season two. Yeah. 
All right, so the frog-like creature that he meets, obviously she's uh, carrying her the eggs with her, mm-hmm. and they're trying to deliver her to her, her husband, I believe, mm-hmm. who has con I think has contact to more Mandos, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then um, so we saw um, a glimpse. You showed me a glimpse in the trailer of her and her husband, and um. What I was wondering is, what I was wondering basically is that, I don't know how to put this, but where could, because they obviously have to deliver him, I mean her to her husband, and I was just wondering if she, like how she get her eggs into like the big jar with the blue stuff, like what, what even is the blue stuff? Obviously has I'm to be I'm some thinking sort of thing. I'm thinking that is a miniature back to tank that we saw in um, Empire Strikes Back that Luke was in. So I think I'm pre- I'm pretty positive that's a miniature back to tank to um to for the eggs to uh survive. Fertilize basically. Yeah, fertilize, and we saw that they they only survive in warm temperatures or warm water. Uh, um, so the back tank was obviously had to be hot or warm water because we saw her in like the jacuzzi or whatever with her eggs. Yeah. So the spiders that we saw, and surprisingly, the child ate um, one of them, which was. So he practically eats anything, but anyway, yeah, the spiders. He, he also he also ate the eggs too of the frog. Like, yeah, yeah, that was, that was that was kind of funny, but like sad at the same time. But yeah. so basically, the spiders they remind me of two things. Um. So first, the first thing that remind me of so if you if you watch the show Rebels, um, they like in season three or two, they find another rebel base and they have to fight off spiders. And that live in caves, and so I'm. I was thinking that like it reminds me of those spiders that were in Rebels. And then the second thing that the spiders remind me of are the Jedi Fallen Order spiders that make uh, multiple appearances throughout the story mode. But yeah, those 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 are what mainly remind me of the spiders. Yeah, and uh, going back to the child, we can see that the child like does a lot of things that can mess up what the Mando is trying to do. So I'm hoping to see the contrast of, I'm hoping to see the, um, how Mando is going to control the child and like train him to not do any of these bad stuff that can mess up any of his missions or, and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's Uh, basically, it's like, he's basically a baby except, or a toddler, except he's like 50 years old, but he's, yeah, he's not trained in or trained in any way. So yeah. Um I did a video on this uh when I when I first started out my channel, but we actually saw a Dave Filoni cameo as one of the rebel uh pilots yeah. as yeah, I as, well. as Trapper Wolf. Um so we saw another appearance of Trapper Wolf and you know like Dave Filoni and um, Commander Wolf from the Clone Wars, yeah. but, so he named his character Trapper Wolf, and the thing, but the thing is that I'm pretty sure they switched out the actors, because when they landed, or they switched out Dave Filoni for another actor, because when we saw the Rebels fighting off the spiders for Mando, like, it, it looked like a way younger person than Dave Filoni. It didn't look like yeah. Dave Filoni at all. So I think they switched the actors so that it would be harder for us to spot and confirm that it's Trapper Wolf. But I'm pretty positive it's Trapper Wolf, except they just switched out the actors for the last part. And I really yeah. want to see a comic book of Trapper Wolf. That would be cool to see a comic. Yeah, that would be, yeah, that would be pretty sick. Yeah. And, and also, um, what was I going to say? Uh, the child, I would like to, um, they obviously, obviously they have a connection, and they're, and I would like to see the child and Mando fighting side by side, because obviously the child has powerful force abilities, and I think, 
he could help out the Mendo a lot when he's trying to find. Because basically, this season, I which leads me to believe is Mando trying to find um, more Mandalorians. Because at the end of season one, the very last episode, we saw that a lot of them threw down their armor. Yeah. And they all fled, fled somewhere else. So this season is him about trying to find it, and maybe the child might be able to help him find it if the child actually knows how to use his abilities. But Yeah, after after season one, we saw that the child had only, f- like, five Force-known abilities. But, like, in this chapter, we saw him... We saw him pull um the eggs to him, so like he has a connection with other species, as we may see Ahsoka, so he'll have an appearance with Ahsoka. So which leads it's kind of leading up to that he will probably be pulled through the force with Ahsoka. So, um one of the mis- mistakes I saw too. So this is um the last thing I have, but I saw I've spotted a mistake. So when the spiders were attacking the razor crest, um, the big, the big spider, he poked, or he, yeah, he poked through the razor crest window shields, or the yeah. windows, and it yeah. cracked through the window, and it was inside the razor crest cockpit, and then, uh, he made another crack with his other leg, and then the rebels, um, saved them. And then when they went out to space, the glass and the hole was fixed, which, so that that's just a little mis- mistake I spotted. Yeah. And uh, any predictions for episode three? Like what's gonna happen? Okay. So after so what we know with what we got from the trailer and what we've got from episode two kind of forms um, episode three for us. So in episode two, we saw that. He had his, or the passenger, he had the passenger with the eggs, the frog, the frog lady. Yeah. We saw him with her, and then he had his, his ship was all wrecked up at the end, and he was literally, like, floating. The Razor Crest was just free-falling in space, and in the trailer, we saw that the, we saw, again, the Razor Crest all beat up, and he's falling towards a planet. And then also in the trailer we saw him uh transporting by or yeah, transporting by boat, which leads that his razor crest which episode three we will see him crash land on a pilot and then um or crash land on the planet and then board a boat where the the woman, the lady who we think is either Sabine Ren or Sith, where he will meet uh, Sabine Wren, so that is, so I think that is what's gonna happen in, uh, episode three. Yeah, good prediction, good prediction, because he was drifting towards a planet, obviously his, um, ship isn't fully fixed, as we saw the, I think it was, um, in the last, in the very last scene, how we saw his, uh, ship drifting throughout space, and the back of it, it was, op- the flap was open, so it's not fully fixed. So he's probably yeah he's probably gonna crash land on that planet and then yeah yeah because we at the end of of chapter two or chapter ten technically but episode two of season two we we saw the ship practic yeah identical to the ship the floating ship that we saw in the trailer so. He, th- I think I'm pretty sure that is what's gonna happen in uh, chapter three, and I'm I'm pr- I'm most likely gonna make a video on it to just like sort out everything that's probably going to happen, and then I'm probably also gonna make a video on one of the things I spotted, such as the Dave Floney appearance, or yeah. or maybe like a mistake. But yeah, that's um, what I think for episode three. Yeah. So is that 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 wraps up um Mando Mando Mondays number 2, right? Yeah. If you don't have you don't have anything else, right? No, that was uh that was it. Okay, so that wraps up 
Mando Mondays number two. Make sure to stay tuned for the third Mando Mondays, where we will be breaking down each episode, breaking down Easter eggs and new theories and predictions for the next episode. See you guys in the next one.